now that we've created our four basic tests, we've kind of written some basic tests. We've not done anything for the acceptance or the functional. Can't really do anything when we don't have a website to show at the moment. We don't need to do anything with the acceptance configuration because effectively, as I've just said, we don't have anything there to test as of yet. We're going to come to that. just want to show you how to run. Now, it's very straightforward. Again, this is a slightly change for us. It's PHP, vendor, codeception, codeception, codecept, and then run. There's a few extra commands on here that you can do if we go to, again, reference commands on the run at the side there can see that there's various different things. The two main ones that we would be concerned with are run and then the suite name or run and then the actual individual test name. Um, we're going to show both of those now. So as, a, as you most likely remember, we've got some tests that we've created in our acceptance and our functional and neither of these two are going to pass because neither of them are actually legitimate tests. But these tests, um, the PHP unit and the codeception test should pass. So if we run PHP vendor codeception, codeception, whatever, and then we do run, there's four tests in there in total. Two of them are passing, two of them are erroring. So we can see our acceptance tests, errors, functional tests, errors, unit tests, both good. And then it gives you the actual errors there, um, which is just basically that those tests are garbage. And then what we can do, just up arrow there, um, is to do run, say, just the unit suite. And we can see that those tests actually pass perfectly. Or we can do run unit. And then we can do, what's the actual path to here? So we'll just do, we'll do this my sub dir. So we go my sub dir. And then you can't actually auto complete there. So we're going to need to type in the PHP unit test php unit test php and we can just run that one individually and you can do that for literally any um of your dirs you can just do it to the actual dir itself and then it will run all the ones inside that, that directory as well and again you know if you had other tests in there you could do it like that so it's running all of them that's basically how you do it those are the the two commands i mean you you do run functional if you wish to run just the functional etc so it's it's literally as straightforward as that